I figured after repairing the trailer, why not use this thing to hook up for the first time ever? Okay. Well, we might have a load. We're gonna get this trailer fixed. And I just got an email I said, hey, do you wanna go pick up this Clinton load? I said, maybe. Depends on if I can get my trailer fixed. We should be able to, though. Let's see if we got any craziness going on in here. Hi. Hi. You going crazy with the TikTok music? No. Where are your TikTok kids? Music. It's the weekend, bro. Where are your kids? Well, here we go. We got the good old trusty DeWalt multi-tool with the wood, I don't even know what to call it, attachment, a measuring tape, and I got a piece of wood just to kind of measure, see if that's a, the a size, or we're gonna need bigger from Home Depot. Well, let's go tackle it. We're gonna cut from the bottom side so we stay between the um, cross members so we don't go too far, because you don't want to have the other boards not touching a cross member and then have a weak point, so let's do this. Wow, a little bit hot in South Carolina still. This tool is uh, priceless. And there we go. So we'll measure that out and measure the depth of it too. It's, uh, it's like two boards stacked on top of one. But this tool, I mean, it did take me a while, but to get it cut out between the cross members, it has some extra space on the bottom. Oh yeah, so. Trailer repair, let's go get some wood. Hi, baby. What? What? Keys? What you need? Want the keys? There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that truck's closed right now. Wanted to get the hard work done before I picked up these guys. Take them to the hardware store with me. What's up, beautiful? Hi, dude. Whoa. Oh. How was school, guys? How was school, Cash? Was it good? I can. Except to you. Oh, they probably. Unless you want to go. Or are you staying here? You got stuff to do? Oh. I like your hair. Come with us. Did you make something? All right, let's try them. Oh, wow. You opened the gas tank. <laughs> Okay, close. close. Oh, you want monster truck? Monster truck keys? Yeah. Yeah. Show me what you got. What'd you what'd you make? What are what are they made out of? Pasta. Pasta. Farfelle? I truck. Bow tie. Isn't that what bow tie is? Farfelle? I don't know. Please. Wanna try? Very good. Do you like it, bro? TikTok? Tick yeah. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go to the hardware store. Hardware store. Yes, we're taking a truck. Go over there. You'll see it. Look down on the ground. Do you see the big hole? That's what we're going to fix. All right. He came with me because he loves coming with me everywhere. So. Uh, over time, the tires are run underneath it and it sprays, sprays water and corrosion on it. And it made that one of the pieces of wood had a weak spot and it deteriorated. Is that one? That's the new piece of wood. <laughs> Let's put the new one in, okay? I figured after repairing the trailer, why not use this thing to hook up for the first time ever? Look at much room between the cab and the uh, trailer. We'll use it to uh, slide the tandems. But that's a first right there. She is hooked up to a trailer. Heck yeah. Almost there. Just gotta get our IRP. And we have a new trailer. Well, not a new trailer, but new wood in the trailer. And we're back at Sterilite. 
So this one is $1,300 over to Atlanta. It's closer than the McDonough one I was gonna take. And it's a heck of a lot lighter. So I guess everything worked out in the end. Um, God always looks out for you, you know? Took care of us on this one. So let's try and see how long it's gonna take the load because it will be a floor load. And then we deliver tomorrow at noon. So we'll get some good rest. Deliver it back at Seiko. Oh, let's get in here. Okay, we got dock door 607. Let's open these doors and get over there. Our little trailer repair came out pretty good. There we go. Well, good morning. 11.45 p.m. appointment. Oh, so we slipped out here by 7-Eleven. There's only a little bit of parking right over here in the corner, but there's more parking over here. So I just pulled in this morning to get some coffee. And that's a nice ram. Come on, man. 283 for diesel. Let's get going. Still idling because I haven't recharged the... Uh, Good old 289. Haven't recharged the AC compressor yet. Got to turn on. Dang it. We got the mowing parade going on. That's nice of them. On to the next. On to the next. Have the weed eaters come get by the guardrail. Thank you. Well, they all have American flags on the front of them. That's kind of cool. It's real cool. That's really cool. Yeah, we're coming up 385. We're gonna go right past the house actually, and then um, head over to Atlanta. Yikes, 85 northbound, backed up right here in Greenville. Hope everyone's okay, it's real backed up. It's 8.30 now, so I have a noon appointment, and I remember they take lunch <laughs> right at noon, so I'm like, I'm not in a rush to get there any earlier than that, so probably get alerted after lunch, probably be a little bit of a long day, but uh, 155 miles from the drop right as we speak so it's not a bad run for the 1300 bucks but uh, it does take a while to unload last night they loaded pretty quick two hours um, it's floor loaded so if you're at that Clinton Starlight location right at when your appointment time they won't load you early but they will load you right at that appointment time and it'll <clears throat> typically take about two hours I don't know if they're busy or not, but last night was a, almost midnight. It was 11.45 p.m. Uh, appointment, man, 85's back though. I hate to see that for everybody going north right now. We're blessed to be going south, and it's okay, because it's going to be an accident on this side. But 85, if you've run it through Atlanta to Charlotte to Greenville, you know it has its problems. A lot of, a lot of people flying, going as fast as they can, but it's two lanes at a lot of points, and there's a lot of construction right past Greenville. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, we'll get there and probably uh, go grab lunch or something and then wait for our trailer to uh, get returned to us. Our new trailer. New patched in wood. Okay. I always have to show the good old Lake Hartwell. <laughs> That's the lake we go to a lot right there. We put the boat down. And our jet ski is actually uh, on this lake now underneath. Neighbor's lake house. That's cool. Might get out there maybe one or two more times, but the water's gonna start turning cold. So is the weather. So might be time to put the boat up. But that's the lake we go to. A little bit of rain of all things coming into Atlanta. And of course, it's 10. What is it, almost 10:30? We only have about 40 miles left to go, and woo! Traffic, traffic. I don't know why so many people are doing from that side, but. Here we go. It shows it on the map is all red for a little bit, but let's see. Hopefully everyone's okay. And it's just, uh, I guess, still morning commute at 1030. Who knows? What is going on, ATS? Uh, uh, last couple times I've been here, it's been real early in the morning. This time it is a uh, noon appointment, which worked out perfectly for me getting a trailer fixed. And, uh, getting some sleep. So. Let's look for some loads on the load board and pray that they're uh, under four hours for this unload. 
I got a, a buddy named uh, Patrick who did the flooring on a W9. Great guy lives right around here. And congrats, man. He just bought a house. He just texted me this morning. But uh, he has a friend that works here in the offices. Uh, so he said, hey, here's her number. Give her a call. Make sure that that seven hour thing doesn't happen again. I said, <laughs> I don't want any special treatment, but I appreciate it, Patrick. So I have her number. Maybe I'll shoot her a text and just let her know I'm here. I think it's lunchtime because every time I've been here at noon, everyone's heading out. So let's see what we got at the gate. Go drop our trailer. I'm loading. I'm unloading. Thanks, man. 88. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. Okay, check the seal, check the papers. Let's go check in. You ever come to Seiko? You're gonna drop, whoa, it's empty today. Maybe because new. Uh, he gave me the go ahead. But uh, typically there's a bunch of trailers right here and there's nothing. So <laughs> I guess the 12 noon might be better uh one time i don't know but if they can't get it off the truck or a little quick then maybe they're just switching things up i don't know what's going on i don't see a sign anymore that says zone six well yeah over there it says zone six who knows i'm gonna put it nice and straight by this light pole like we did last time Our jockey comes and grabs it. Gotta lower this landing gear too. Okay. All right, trailer. Let's see a little bit. Back by the Atlanta airport, and that was quick. Uh, yard jockey's already getting under our trailer, so cool. They already gave us our bills. Awesome, so let's see what happens. Well, I know I'm gonna be here for at least two hours, so let's replace this. Good old compressor. All right, let's take these off. It's right down here. And of course, it's starting to rain a little bit, not bad. Clouds are not that big, but this is the only wire that's turning on your clutch right here. And just disconnect that right here. Um, one big Allen in the back, so you have to have a set of Allens. Uh, this one has a bolt, so you can switch that out. And there'll be new O-rings in here. You can just go back to this one if you want to. And but sometimes breaking loose those. Uh, see, it already has oil in it. It's letting some out. I don't want that oil to come out. It's hard to break these loose when they've been heated up and cold for so long. So I just use the same factory one. I'll just change out the O-rings. But it's just four bolts, so got the two back ones out. The two front ones are still in. Once I pull these out up top, it's gonna fall. Of course, take your belt off first, and we'll get it off. Don't forget, the one of the bolts is through this tensioning bar that goes to your alternator. So that gives it tension on the belt. That's what's adjustable. So this bottom bolt come out of there. And also, um, two of the, of the nuts stay in here. You can kind of see like that. Make sure you don't lose those. Keep those in there, keep some tension on them when you're putting new ones in. So we will get this one in there now. So with this guy coming off the back, leaked a tiny bit of oil so you can put some more in there, but they always overfill them typically when they give them to you because of that. And then I'm just gonna take these brand new O-rings, transfer them onto there. Make sure they seat in there when you're putting them on so you don't get any leaks. And that is it guys, took us just under a half an hour. It's not that hard. Just the one wire that needs to be connected. Um, make sure you get a good amount of tension. That's what this big old open end is for, or a combination wrench. I put that against the engine block and the alternator and give it good tension and then tighten down with a 13 millimeter. 5 16 big Allen wrench for the back of this uh, connector for the high and low side. And then 17 millimeters on both sides of these bolts. So hope that helps help somebody. We're back in action with APU because uh, I've already been noticing my fuel consumption just as of last night idling. 
going down big time. So it's really nice to have the APU, even though it's not a green APU, pretty soon the Kenworth will have a green APU. All right. One more thing, just what makes green APU superior is you see it's just three points of contact, AC, alternator, crank. You have to get tension on that alternator to get this belt tight. So the green APU has a Pathfinder tensioner you can get at any AutoZone place for $35. O'Reilly, Advanced Auto Parts. And that's what makes it different. So hope that helps somebody. Well, I could see my trailer across the way. Uh, went and did a loop around, found out where it was, and it was uh, right where I could see it from the other part of the uh, yard, I guess. And once it got moved, I saw them pulling everything out. It was three and a half hours, but it's floor loaded. They have to do every box, so at least it wasn't seven hours this time. And they set the appointment at noon, which was lunchtime, so probably would have been about two and a half if it wasn't lunchtime, but whatever. We're out of here. We're hitting through Atlanta traffic. It started raining. And uh, yeah, that's how this day is going, but we're blessed to have a trailer that has a full floor again. <laughs> And we did a little AC on the uh, APU, so we'll go get that recharged and we should have some APU action again instead of um, pulling fuel out of the tanks all night for idling the truck, which is not good for your motor. Highly recommend an APU and highly recommend uh, greenapu.com. We should be getting ours installed this next coming week, so I'm probably going to try a deadhead home. I'm looking for a load, probably coming once I get past traffic, I'll look for loads. I looked for a couple while I was sitting there, but there's not really a lot right now on a Wednesday in the middle of Atlanta, which is crazy. But it's later in the day. It's uh, 3 o'clock now, so that is what we're doing. We're rambling. We're just praying for good, smooth traffic. And uh, we're getting back to the K-Dub and get that APU off the truck. We have to get the old one off, clean up that frame behind it so the new green APU can go on. So we have to get that out and the HVAC system the AC condensed system under uh, underneath the couch out also so pray for me and pray for me it's not raining when I'm doing this so gotta get back home and do that but in the meantime let's go get the other side of traffic and look for loads and that is our third winner for the 14th um, congrats man I was just scrolling down I saw the uh, sunglass emoji I said there you go one of my favorite emojis um, Yes, and hopefully it helps you with the oil change. But we are in the rain now. Like it started raining a little bit out there when I was unloading, but now it's pretty rainy. And uh, 85 going the other way was pretty backed up. Oops, I can't get over. I got an Epps truck next to me. Just barely saw that guy. He's a piece of ram. We're gonna shut it down, stop for some food. Uh, T Dubs is making burgers, she said, but now she's saying they're making she's making turkey burgers, which are okay. But I said, hey, I'm all good. You don't gotta save me one. I'll get some food on the way home. But I think I am, there's no loads out here, guys. Um, I had T-Dubs look for me real quick, and there's just nothing really going. So unless something pops up late, it's probably a blessing. I can just go home and spend the whole day tomorrow getting that APU off the W9 and just finish up that frame. Uh, get ready for the green APU. And then once the green APU goes on, we're getting our decals made right now for the numbers on the, on the uh, side doors. And... Gonna, I'll probably do the APU. I'll probably wake up early and go get the IRP done on that truck. Get a plate for it tomorrow morning. I have to go to Greer, which is about 25 minute drive away. There's Freightliner over there. A lot of buses. Uh, get the uh, IRP done with a VIN number. And IRP is like the registration for your truck. It's about, it should be about $1,200 to $1,400 for that. And that gives it good for a year. Sure, I have IRP for two trucks, but I want to switch between them. I want to have the backup. This Volvo has been amazing. It has a fresh motor on it, brand new head, brand new liners, brand new pistons, all new bearings. So this truck's uh, very trusted and tried and true. Now we just got to get the W9 to that point and then buy like three more trucks. So we'll see what happens. But congrats on that T6 case of oil. We're going to stay safe in the rain, unlike that guy who's flying in the hammer down lane. But uh, yeah. Back to the South Carolina border, get some grub, look for maybe a good load. If something great pops up, I'll take it. But if not, we're just gonna uh, scratch it. Thursday, make it a uh, 
work on the trucks. I'll still look for loads on during the day, but I'll be working on that APU, getting it out. I want to get it out nice and neatly. I don't want to just rip it out so that the new one can go in and we don't have a big hole in the bottom of the sleeper. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, then we'll recharge this APU on this Volvo. We'll have to idle it at night anymore when it's warm. But it's getting colder. It's 69 degrees. Right now, we're coming up to uh, the border pretty soon. I've been rambling too long. Let's get through this rain and focus on the road. Last minute sign. Yeah, drop my pass. You gotta turn that thing on a little bit sooner. Maybe a second. We're only going 62 miles an hour. You're going 75. Maybe we'll run into that thing. That is the South Carolina Way Station coming in. I don't know what I'm gonna get for food, but I'm really hungry. Let's see. Uh, you got somebody over there. A lot of box trucks get pulled over just because you want to make sure you're running right, your numbers, whatever you're doing, that kind of stuff. So be wary of that. Let's roll up. Oh. And that's going to do it for today. It's raining. We're going to change out the 22-inch uh, wiper blades on the good old Volvo because it's starting to rain a little bit more. And I've learned that even if you buy the super nice blades, um, they still, all the sun and all the weather and stuff, they wear out sooner than later. So, God bless you. Thanks for checking out the channel today. Please check out Just Talking About Shop. We got the new All Right shirts in. And check out this hopper. This thing is awesome. It's got a little uh, white peak to match the white sides. You don't see too many of those that are uh, color matched. Beautiful. But yeah, God bless you. See you tomorrow. We'll probably go live, do a little APU removal. And let's see what's going on over here. A pretty truck, pretty setup. Okay, Got a little uh, trooper over here. What happened? Somebody broke into the SUV or what? But teas and peace for them, teas and peace for you. Let's get refreshed, get home. God bless you. See you tomorrow.